In a time long past, two mighty kingdoms clashed on the battlefield, their armies meeting with a thunderous roar. The clash of swords and shields echoed through the valleys as warriors fought for honor and glory. Amidst the chaos, a young and courageous commander emerged, leading his troops with unwavering determination. As the war raged on, alliances were formed and shattered, betrayals left scars deeper than any blade. The tale unfolded with tales of heroism, sacrifice, and the relentless pursuit of victory. Battles were fought in desolate landscapes, ancient forests, and besieged castles, each encounter shaping the destiny of those embroiled in the conflict. Generations passed, and the war became a defining chapter in the history of both kingdoms. Yet, amidst the bloodshed, stories of unlikely friendships and forbidden love emerged, challenging the very foundation of the war. As the conflict continued, the once mighty kingdoms found themselves on the brink of collapse. In the heart of the turmoil, a wise sage sought to end the bloodshed and bring about a lasting peace. His journey led him through treacherous lands, encountering mythical creatures and ancient prophecies that foretold the fate of the warring realms. The fate of the kingdoms hung in the balance as the sage's quest unfolded. The final confrontation approached, and the battlefield became a canvas painted with the struggles of countless lives. Heroes fell, and legends were born in the crucible of war. The climax neared, and the outcome remained uncertain shrouded in the mist of destiny. As the narrative unfolds, the characters grapple with the consequences of their choices, and the reader is drawn into a world of turmoil and intrigue. The story weaves a tapestry of emotions, from the raw intensity of battle to the tender moments of connection amidst the chaos. Stay tuned for the continuation of this ancient war story, where the threads of fate entwine and unravel in unexpected ways. Amidst the chaos of battle, a lone figure emerged from the smoke and dust wielding a weapon of immense power. This enigmatic warrior, shrouded in mystery, held the key to ending the conflict that had torn the kingdoms asunder. As the armies clashed around them, the fate of the realms hung in the balance. Allies and enemies alike watched in as the figure strode onto the battlefield, his presence commanding respect and fear in equal measure. With each swing of his weapon, the very earth trembled and the tides of battle shifted. But even as the forces of darkness gathered their strength, a glimmer of hope remained. For deep within the hearts of the warriors, a spark of resilience flickered, refusing to be extinguished by the ravages of war. Bonds forged in the crucible of battle held fast, as friends stood shoulder to shoulder, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. And so, as the sun set on the battlefield, the final confrontation began. The clash of steel echoed through the land, a symphony of defiance against the forces of tyranny and oppression. In the end, it was not the might of armies or the power of weapons that decided the outcome but the strength of the human spirit. As the dust settled and the cries of victory echoed across the land, a new dawn broke over the kingdoms. The war was finally at an end, but the scars it left behind would forever serve as a reminder of the price of freedom. And so, dear reader, as we bid farewell to this ancient war story, let us remember the lessons it has taught us. Let us cherish the bonds of friendship, honor the sacrifices of those who came before us, and strive always for a future built on peace and understanding. In the aftermath of the war, the once divided kingdoms faced the daunting task of rebuilding. Cities lay in ruins, fields scorched by the fires of conflict, and the people carried the weight of loss and sorrow. Yet, amidst the devastation, the seeds of hope took root. Leaders emerged from the ashes, individuals who saw the opportunity to forge a new era of cooperation and unity. The process of reconciliation began, as former enemies found common ground and pledged to work together for the prosperity of all. It was a time of rebuilding not just structures, but also trust and understanding. As the kingdoms healed, stories of heroism and sacrifice became legends passed down through generations. The enigmatic warrior, whose identity remained a mystery, became a symbol of resilience and the unwavering spirit that could overcome even the darkest of times. Trade flourished, cultural exchange blossomed, and the scars of war gradually faded. The once bitter rivals learned to appreciate each other's strengths and celebrate their shared history. The lessons of the ancient conflict echoed in the minds of the people, fostering a collective commitment to peace and diplomacy. In the years that followed, the kingdoms prospered and a golden age of collaboration unfolded. Scholars, artists, and thinkers from both realms exchanged knowledge, creating a cultural tapestry that blended the best of both civilizations. The scars of war were transformed into monuments of remembrance urging future generations to embrace unity over discord. As we draw the curtain on this chapter of history, let us carry forward the enduring lessons of resilience, camaraderie, and the pursuit of peace. 
For in the wake of every war, there lies the potential for a brighter, more harmonious future, one that transcends the boundaries of kingdoms and unites the hearts of all who inhabit this shared world. In the midst of this newfound era of collaboration, emissaries from the once warring kingdoms embarked on diplomatic missions to solidify the bonds of friendship. Trade routes flourished, and bustling marketplaces became symbols of the interconnected prosperity that transcended borders. The mysterious warrior, whose pivotal role in ending the war was now a matter of legend, chose to fade into obscurity. Yet, the impact of their deeds lingered in the collective memory of the people, a testament to the transformative power of courage and selflessness. As the kingdoms forged alliances, joint endeavors in the realms of science, arts, and philosophy flourished. Scholars engaged in spirited debates, artists drew inspiration from diverse traditions, and thinkers collaborated to solve shared challenges. This exchange of ideas not only enriched the cultural tapestry but also laid the foundation for technological advancements that propelled both realms into a bright future. In this era of unity, the once impassable boundaries between the kingdoms dissolved. Citizens moved freely between the lands, enriching their lives through exposure to different customs and traditions. The blending of cultures gave rise to a vibrant society, where diversity was not just tolerated but celebrated. Yet, challenges persisted as remnants of the war's aftermath lingered. Rebuilding efforts faced setbacks, and scars, both physical and emotional, served as constant reminders of the price paid for peace. It became clear that sustaining harmony required ongoing commitment and understanding. Leaders from both kingdoms convened in councils of cooperation, working tirelessly to address lingering grievances and ensure a lasting peace. Through compromise and dialogue, they navigated the complexities of governance, forging a path toward a future where the mistakes of the past were not repeated. And so, as the kingdoms continued their shared journey, the echoes of the ancient war gradually faded into history. The story of their redemption and collaboration became a beacon of hope for generations to come, a reminder that even in the darkest times, the indomitable spirit of humanity could illuminate the path to a brighter, more united future. As the years unfolded, the collaborative efforts of the once divided kingdoms bore fruit in unexpected ways. Innovation and progress became the cornerstones of their shared destiny, as joint initiatives in agriculture, technology, and the arts flourished. In the pursuit of knowledge, scholars from both realms established academies where the brightest minds converged to push the boundaries of understanding. Scientific breakthroughs and advancements in various fields elevated the standard of living for all, demonstrating the profound impact that unity and cooperation could have on societal progress. The arts, too, thrived in this era of mutual inspiration. Collaborative projects between musicians, artists, and writers produced masterpieces that seamlessly blended the cultural influences of both kingdoms. Festivals and celebrations became vibrant expressions of shared heritage, reflecting the harmonious coexistence that had replaced the scars of war. Trade routes, once fraught with tension, transformed into bustling arteries of commerce and cultural exchange. Merchants and traders traversed the lands freely, bringing goods, ideas, and stories from one kingdom to the other. The once divided realms had become interconnected, their destinies intertwined in a tapestry of shared prosperity. The bonds of friendship extended beyond the corridors of power, reaching into the hearts of everyday citizens. Friendships blossomed, and in Turkingdom marriages became a symbol of unity, solidifying the ties between families from different backgrounds. The spirit of cooperation and understanding became embedded in the fabric of society, fostering a sense of kinship that transcended old animosities. Yet, challenges persisted. The wounds of the past were not easily forgotten, and pockets of resistance threatened the hard-won peace. Leaders faced the delicate task of addressing lingering grievances while nurturing the seeds of reconciliation. Through diplomatic finesse and a commitment to justice, they worked tirelessly to ensure that the scars of the ancient war did not fester into renewed conflict. In this evolving narrative, the kingdoms continued their collective journey, each chapter marked by the ongoing struggle for lasting harmony. The lessons of the past served as guideposts, reminding all that the path to a united future required vigilance, empathy, and an unwavering commitment to the shared values that had emerged from the crucible of war. And so, the tale of their intertwined destinies continued, a testament to the enduring power of cooperation over conflict. In the twilight of their shared history, the once warring kingdoms stood as a testament to the transformative power of unity. The challenges of the past had become distant echoes, drowned out by the symphony of collaboration and progress that now defined their existence. Leadership had passed to a new generation, 
one raised in the era of peace but mindful of the sacrifices that had paved the way for their harmonious present. The lessons of the ancient war were etched into the collective consciousness, a living reminder of the resilience of the human spirit and the potential for redemption. As the kingdom celebrated a millennium of peace, a grand ceremony unfolded, bringing together citizens from every corner of the unified realms. Monuments stood tall, commemorating the heroes of the past and serving as beacons of inspiration for future generations. The mysterious warrior, once shrouded in enigma, was immortalized in statues that graced the capital cities, symbolizing the indomitable will that had changed the course of history. The kingdoms, now known as the United Realms, had become a beacon of hope for the world. Their tale resonated far beyond their borders, inspiring neighboring lands to seek reconciliation and collaboration. The spirit of unity spread like wildfire, creating a ripple effect that transcended the realms of politics and diplomacy. In the final chapter of this epic saga, the people of the United Realms looked towards a future filled with promise. The once divided lands had evolved into a mosaic of diversity, where the strengths of each culture were celebrated and shared. The scars of war, once stark reminders of conflict, had become symbols of resilience and transformation. And so, as the sun set on the United Realms, casting a warm glow over a world united in purpose, the story of the ancient war reached its conclusion. The kingdoms had not only overcome the shadows of their past, but had forged a legacy of cooperation and understanding that would endure for generations to come. The closing lines of their history echoed with the timeless truth that, in the end, it was the triumph of unity over discord that defined the destiny of nations.